the new challenge inside of Clash Clans, and I'm going to teach you guys how to beat it. What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today we're going to be showing off the Judo Sloth Challenge. Judo Sloth recently hit 1 million subs, and he's going harder than ever with his own challenge stage inside of Clash Clans. I got my Judo Sloth 1 million t-shirt on, and I'm going to show you guys how to beat his challenge level. So let's go ahead and hop into it, guys. Take a look at this base. It's pretty interesting. There's like 12 Inferno Towers, some multi, some single. There's two kings, two queens. How? What? Judo, how did you get four kings and queens? What the heck? Judo's hacking, guys. Judo's a hacker. Uh, he's got a clan castle, which does have something in it. I'll let you guys see that on your own. And then we get a Town Hall 14 level 5, which is going to be pretty nasty. But I found a way to beat this pretty consistently. And remember, guys, you get unlimited tries. So if you mess something up, you can try it again. But if this video is helpful for you guys, do me a favor. Leave a like on the video. That lets YouTube know it was helpful. And maybe they'll share it to others. So let's go ahead. We're going to start on the bottom of the space. We're going to use our super wall breaker right here. We're just looking to get a little bit of damage on the air defense if we get that wall open great if not not the end of the world next we're going to put the yeti at the bottom here just to take these skeletons out and then the yeti's actually going to go ahead and get that air defense out next we're going to come over to this side and we're going to put in a skeleton spell let a few skeletons spawn here and then we'll put a king our headhunter and our valkyrie right in there then we're going to be ready with our royal champion and we're going to throw in our royal champion right in here on all of these infernos yeah that seems bad but it's actually not too bad because we're going to use that lightning spell to reset those infernos use her ability to throw her seeking shield to get through there and we get those singles down now we want to hit the king's ability on the town hall there that way we get it down and with the royal champion we should have four infernos down next we're going to start on this far side we're going to bring in one witch over here we're going to bring in our pekka right in front of the witch like so our queen and then a ground warden and then we're going to throw in the ice wizard and the super archer right through there all right so Hopefully you're with me still, guys. But like I said, this one's kind of spammy, so you can kind of just beat this one. Uh, just kind of getting lucky a little bit. So once all this stuff is kind of working through here, the queen is down and the king is down over here, we're going to throw in bats up top here, and then we're going to throw in our dragon rider and our electro dragon. And this is going to allow us to work in here towards these singles and allow that dragon rider and electro dragon, the queen, all that, to get through here without taking too much damage from the singles. And we want to try to save this freeze if possible. We're going to pop the queen's ability, and then what we'll do is we'll hit the warden's ability right through here and then we'll have this freeze for the backside now sometimes you will have to use that freeze a little bit earlier to keep whatever troops alive or whatnot and that's fine if you have to use that freeze earlier just use it guys it's not a big deal but this is how i've been beating this challenge and it's pretty consistent as long as you follow those steps i know it went really really quick but as long as you follow those steps, you should have no problem beating the Judo Sloth Challenge. But I implore you guys, take a few and just try something on your own. It's a pretty spammy style base. You should be able to figure something out. But once you beat the challenge, you'll get that building potion, 400 experience, and the honor of playing the Judo Sloth Challenge. Hopefully this one was helpful for you guys. If it was, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, and have those notifications on. That way you don't miss any future uploads. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.